black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Today is kind of a cheat day. We're diving into a dirty one. All right, yo, what up? What's good with y'all? Welcome to today's video, cheat day. This is definitely a cheat day plate. I've fasted 48 hours for this. I have not eaten in 48 hours. And in those 48 hours, I've done a ton of walking, treadmill, all these things. Plus after not eating for 48 hours, having one big dirty meal not gonna end your life cycle of doing what you're doing so poutine reimagined let's have a bite and then we'll talk about it a lot of you have seen this before sort of 
renditions, but it's my favorite fries, and you may know that by now. All right, so. Blame Canada <laughs> for that poutine. There you are. All right. Amazing. Needs more ketchup, though. All right. It's incredible. Right? How could it not be? Couple things to note. I saw this, I usually make my own gravy, right? Every time I make poutine, usually do my own gravy. But I saw a poutine specific gravy at the store and I was like, let me try that, let me see. Thus far, personally, it just tastes like a chicken gravy. Just a lighter style gravy. As far as the cheese, I just use mozzarella, not the squeaky curds. And then for the fries, that's the major switch up, was I wanted to try to make like a crispy half moon, non-freezer section, self-made potato at home, like home potato. Reason being is If I was ever to open like a food truck, I would want to serve basically this type of fry, like a loaded fry. Semi-loaded, just this fry basically. That you can get alongside your burger, your dog, whatever. But I wanted to see and play around with basically menu testing if this would be a cool idea to have it a non-traditional shoestring like length fry. And see if I could make them crispy. They didn't come up that crispy. Which is surprising to me. Because I remembered these from back in 2019. I made a ribs and crispy potatoes video and those potatoes came out super crispy. That said, I pan fried them in oil so I think having them like in a low shallow oil is was why they came out so good. As opposed to full submerge into oil. But that all being said, this is amazing right now. especially considering my fasted state. (laughs) 
I've often thought to myself, if I did make this an item that I was to sell to the public, I would make the ketchup mandatory as part of the, the design, the recipe design. But I often wonder how many people would be in revolt against such a such an ingredient. I wonder. On a very positive note, leading up to the 48 hour fast. Slowly but surely, becoming the slimmest I've been in like a long time. And then of course, after the 48, waking up, Mirror, pants, shirts, everything, just the most obvious day of like, just keep on this path. And you'll just keep reducing. But that is the legit thing is as things move forward, you have to start upping the fasting time sometimes. Like sometimes you got to throw in a 48. I usually go 20, 24, but sometimes you got to sit a day out. All right. Because of my shrunken gut and my palate being on like basically 5G crack because it's like hasn't had anything. This is very, very rich, salty, and I'm full already. So I'm going to end that one here. But if you never tried this, give it a go with regular fries, whatever fries you like. I was just you know, messing around, trying something different. But it's extremely delicious. Also, I think I prefer beef gravy. I'd rather have a darker beef gravy rather than this chicken gravy. So I won't ever get that gravy again. I'll just make my own or get a beef gravy in the future. My preference. All right, till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.